for let me keep my got it. Okay, so my internet connection's gone weird. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna practice drawing some shapes. So before we go into these colored bits, sorry, I think my other internet just dropped out so I can't see anyone. Um, a second, let's just come back. There we go. So um, we are gonna draw marker shapes like these, but we'll start off just with some pencil shapes just to get everyone practice drawing with pencils. So let's draw a simple shape. We'll draw a circle. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And you can just do several lines. Let's get it in there. And just practice, just get sort of loosen up your hand and drawing a square and see how I'm going back and forth and scribbling it. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're not looking for perfect drawings here. Circle, square, triangle, looks like a face already actually, two eyes and a, and a nose. But then we wanna do some odd shapes. They could be splats. So we can just do sort of a blob kind of shape like that. Uh, we could draw a curved line and how it looks like a smile. But then we could add sides to that and turn it into a shape. So they're the kind of shapes we're looking for. You could even merge two shapes, like the triangle and the square there. And so we draw a triangle, top of the triangle, and then add in the square, and you've got like a pentagon, pentagram, pen, tangle, <laughs> pentagon. <laughs> Um, or even with your square, you could push it to the side a bit. So you have it like that. That's a parallelogram. Or it's, if you turn it this way, it's a diamond or a kite shape. So you could actually turn it into a kite. Tail on the end. That, what I've just done there, is turning that triangle into a kite. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Lots of that kind of stuff. All right, so if you have your markers, um, let's go to a new page. And just so you know, when you're using markers or textures, always have paper underneath an extra piece because, see all that? That's because the markers leak and they soak through to the next page. So I drew them on this page, but they soak through to that page. So always have another page, at least one more page underneath to save your table from being all marked up. See all the dots on this one? That's because I didn't have a piece of paper under my drawing when I was doing it once. So what we're gonna do is on our new piece of paper, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my new piece of paper and put it on top of this one. So this is my, my dirty soak through page that stays on the table to protect the table. I'm gonna put a new piece of paper on top and then I'm going to grab, in this case, this one's a Sharpie, but it could be a texter or a marker, whatever you got, or a colored pencil, or even your lead pencil. And let's just draw a blob shape or like a, an oval. We'll keep it sort of simple. It's sort of like a jelly bean shape, I guess. And then we just want to color it in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't matter if you go outside the lines a bit. We're just playing around here. So if you are using markers or textures, it does take a little bit for them to dry. So we won't draw on that straight away, but I will show you. Look at that. See, it's already gone through. It probably soaked through here a bit too. So we'll draw a couple of those bean shapes. So here I've got a marker. This marker has a thick end and a thin end. So a thick end like that, like a wedge. And on the other end, it's got a little thin end. So I'm gonna use the thick end. Maybe we'll draw another little bean shape and color that in. Uh, 
like that. And then we'll do one more, another bean shape. Maybe we'll do this one, we'll do it just down here, we'll make it sort of a bit fatter. Sort of like this. And color that in. Now I'll just show you one. If you don't have the markers and you're just using pencils while we're waiting for those to dry, um, actually let me let this light on so you can see a bit better. There's better. Um, so if you're just using your lead pencil like this one, um, this one I'm using is, oh, it's a HB. Then usually I use two Bs. That one's a two B. I prefer two Bs, but you can use whatever pencil you want. Um, so you could draw one of those bean shapes and then instead of holding the pencil like this to color, hold it, put it in your hand like that, hold it this way, turn your hand over and use the side of the pencil. And then you can just sort of back and forth, put it on a slight angle and you can shade it in like that. It's a bit, I'll zoom in a little bit. So it's a bit scratchy, but what you can do is just use your finger and smudge it and it fills in those little spots. You do get a dirty finger from doing that. So <laughs> that's the way you can add um, color of them in without having the colored markers. You can just shade in your, your shapes. So is everyone done these, at least three shapes, three little beans? Thumbs up if you have. Yep, okay. You've got to remember that there's, I've got two pages of you and I can only see one, so I need to check the other page too. Well, there you all are. Krisha, I saw your thumbs up. <laughs> okay, all right. A lot of you have your um, cameras off, so I can't see you. All right, so what we're gonna do now is add some detail to these. So again, you could use your pencil on here. You can use your pencils on the colors, um, but I'm gonna use um, a black felt tip pen, which is a very thin pen. Um, you can see how small that is. Um, you could use a black texter or a black Sharpie. That one's a bit thick because I drew these a bit small. Depends on how big you drew your shapes. But I'm just going to zoom in a bit. So you can see it a bit closer. And all of these, I'm just going to turn them into cats because that's sort of easy. They look like sort of cats laying down, big fat cat. I'm not sure what that one's doing. But you could also turn them around to you know, look at them any way you want. So I'm going to start with this green one. And what I'm gonna do is, I might draw, make this one sleeping. So over here, I'm just gonna draw a little curve for the eyes on two curves like that. And then I'll draw some ears. So you can do whatever you want, but just for these first ones, we'll do cats. So you just copy me so you get the idea. Um, so you can give it a simple little X for its nose and its mouth. And then see how I went on the outside. It doesn't matter if you don't stay within this, this shape because we're just adding um, details to the shape. So I might add this little pore at the front and then another little ball. So it's sort of like drawing um, a U shape on its side for the little feet. And then even at the back, we could just draw as if it's laying on its belly and its feet are sticking out the back. If you wanted to make it stripey, you could draw some lines. Oh, I might do just a bunch of lines like this, sort of like hatching. They're getting smaller and smaller. Those last couple of just dots.
so then I'll add <laughs> then I'll add a um, I just saw Karina's message saying kitty cat cool um, I'll add a tail and I'll add some whiskers I'll just open up the chat um, also just with the chat I'll have that open too so if you want to say something to me or to one of the other students without raising your hand you can say it in the chat hopefully I'll see it um, and also um, no no bullying in the chat no spamming we just want to keep it nice for everyone um, okay so I'm going to add tail I might make give it a fluffy tail so I'll give make it sort of jaggedy and fluffy jagged jagged And then the last thing I'll do is give it some whiskers over on its face. One, two, three. One, two, three. So there is my little sleepy cat. So when you've done your first little cat, why don't you hold it up to the screen so I can see them? See how you went. Cool, Mucha, that's good. Uh, Ariel, yours is a bit blurry because you've got a background filter on. If you turn your background filter off, you can usually see the drawings a bit clearer. Hello, oh, that's really good. Kaylee, it's good too. Yeah, so everyone that has like a background picture in that, it's a bit hard to hold off a piece of paper. Jimmy, that's cool. Um, yeah, it's a bit hard to see the drawings when you hold them up. Um, Archer, wow, that's great. Melvin, yep. Let me go to the next page, see if things are not. As a, as a dare, is it? That looks cool, I like that. All right, so let's do two more. And then we'll do some other random shapes and you can sort of do whatever you want then too. Oh, Misha, that's cool. Very good. Yeah, Ari, I still can't see them. Now and again, it focuses on them. Um, oh, that I can see the shape. I can't see any cat on there. Yeah, the, I could, uh, now and again, the legs were, there it is, yeah. Now and again, it pops in, it blows out again because of the, the filter you have in the background. But that's cool. All right, so let's move on. We'll do, let's do this little, little blue, squishy, fat cat. So I'll zoom in a bit again. So, try and get it in the center. Again, let's, let's make this one, we'll give his eye, make his eyes open. So I'm just gonna draw some black dots for eyes. Some upside down V's for ears. We could do a curvy W for the mouth. And while we're doing the face, we can do some, oh, we'll give them a little nose as well. Give him some whiskers. One, two, three, one, two, three. Is there, have you got a question? Um, let me, um, oh, I'll mute you, there you go. Do you wanna unmute and ask a question, is there? No? Have you got a question? She had your hand up. No, okay. All right, so then we need to add some feet. So again, we'll do some long U shapes for the front legs and then put some lines in for little toes. And then we can do feet to the side for the back feet, U with a couple of lines in, and a U with a couple of lines in.
and then we'll add a tail. So you could do a fluffy tail like we did on the green cat, or you could do a long skinny tail um, or a short tail. Maybe you can't see its tail. Maybe it's sitting on its tail. I might give this one a long tail, sort of an S-shaped tail. Oh, my paper moved and I messed up my line. So all I did there was I drew up turned around and then drew, followed the line and drew it back down like that. If you wanted it to be stripey, you could add some stripes. Just do some little zigzags. Could do it some stripes on the side. Oh, we already did a stripey cat, didn't we? You could just make it fluffy. Uh, Lucas, have you got a question? Do you wanna unmute and ask a question? I drove, I drove B. Show it really close to the camera. Oh, I can see the buzz. Show it a bit closer to the camera. Oh, that's cool. Very good. I like the cat too at the bottom. Well done. Oh, Mikhail did a cool cat too. Cool. All right. I'll just put your hand down as well. There we go. All right. A rough. Yeah, that's cool. Good job, everyone. So why don't, we'll do one more cat, but I'll let you guys pick how you draw the cat. So you, everyone draw a cat for this last shape, and then we'll move on to doing some more interesting shapes. And we'll do some other things that aren't cats. And don't forget, you could turn it around this way. You, know, you don't have to do it the way that you drew it. I might do it this way. So maybe he's, oh, actually, maybe he's stretching. So I could do him sticking his claws out like this. With his ears back and his other legs up here and his tail. There we go. It's like a little stretchy cat. Did that really quickly too. But you guys can do whatever you want with that one. You don't have to copy my one. Let's see how he's, he's upside down compared to the other cats. And then also remember, when you're not using your markers or your felt tip pens, make sure you put the lids back on because they'll dry out and uh, you won't be able to use them anymore. You're a waste of money. You don't want to have to keep buying new ones. Just put the lids back on. Is that a turtle? A raft? That looks cool. I like that. <laughs> Mikhail, that's great. Mucha, they're really good, yeah. Even, oh, trying to, there we go. Which I think. Amaya, they're really cool too. Toby, nice, good work. All right. Lucas, nice big snake. Oh, now I can see your cat's area. <laughs> Good job. All right. So let me just zoom out a bit. So we know that we're going to be doing, uh, camera's moving. we're going to be doing shapes um, like this, lots of different shapes. And we don't have to do them facing normal. We can turn them around to do whatever we want. So, um, Here's some just random shapes that I've done. And let me show you a few different things. Uh, so um, while I'm doing this, you guys can be drawing some other shapes. You don't have to copy these shapes, but um, I'll skip this one because it's the same shape as the cat that we're doing. Um, oh, actually, no, I can change into something else. So I'm gonna turn it this way. So this big shape. And what if I drew, 
a big I here. Um, again, you don't have to copy this. All I want you guys to do now is just sort of watch what I'm doing and at the same time, draw some different shapes of your own. So look, it's got two big eyes and I don't have a lot of room, so I'm doing smaller. So what if I did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight legs. And I could do some spots on the big head and I've drawn an octopus. All right, so it's just sort of look at the different shapes and think that to me, that one looks like a peanut, but what could I do where it's not a peanut? Um, or actually, I could draw some lines like this, draw a circle on the outside, and it looks like um, the man on the Pringles, Pringles chips, like it's a big mustache, drew his nose in. Yeah. So it's a, I see his ears sticking up there. So it's a man with a big mustache. Um, maybe this one, this uh, pentagram, pentagon. It could be, should I do it with the point at the bottom like that? It could be some pants and there's one leg, there's another leg or some little toes. Maybe a safety pin going through there. And it could be a, a baby's nappy. A little baby. It's a baby wearing a nappy. So it's just looking at the different shapes and you can even do letters. Like this is a letter E, it's a bit close there. Um, what I used to do as a, as a kid is I used to draw my numbers and letters thick like this. And then I would like turn this into an eye like that. And maybe it has teeth in here. So that's the mouth, make it a bit closer. So eye and the mouth there. And then I could add like little stick figure legs could turn into a little dinosaur. Maybe it's a T-Rex with little arms at the front. So you can have fun with your letters and numbers as well. Um, that's good for if you're doing title pages um, in your books at school. If you had your first date today, you might have got some title pages. I'm not sure if you guys are using books yet um, or projects and things. Um, so you sort of you get the idea, I'm sure. This one, I don't know what this one could be. It's just a like a cloud. Um, maybe it's somebody's hair. Move my drink out of the way. So I could draw a face under here. Maybe you can't see their eyes because they've got so much hair, and I could draw curls in their hair, maybe some even sticking out. Yeah, like someone with a funny wig on. Hello, oh, they're pretty good. I like those cats. So I want I want you guys now to, to draw some shapes and then um, think of what they can they remind you of, what you could make out of those shapes. This is a very traditional one here, the triangle. Um, and you it could just add legs and a head and it could be someone wearing a dress. Just do stick figures. You don't have to do full, full drawings. It could be someone wearing a dress or it could be a pyramid. You know, it could be somebody's nose. That's what I could do with this one actually. Oh, it looks a bit like a beak. I'll draw some holes at the top. Some eyes on the side. And then draw the head coming up and the body down here. 
give it some bird legs. Some wings. And the bird with a big beak. So just draw some shapes and think, you know, have a turn the turn the shapes around and go, mm, what does this look like? What could I turn this into? Um, this one's a bit hard because it looks like a star, but what could I make it so it's not a star? Um, hmm, I'm trying to think of some clothing. Or oh I know, what if it was a, a rocket and this is all the exhaust coming out there. So it's sort of going to be this way. And this is the back of the rocket where the exhaust comes out. And then this is where the cockpit is over here or a jet. It's a little wings and it's, it's flying like that. So it's going like that, flying off the page. That was a hard one. So just, just have a play around. I can turn this into a ruler. Um, maybe it could be a long sausage dog um, or a long cat. Could be a pencil. Could add a little pencil on the end and a rubber on this end. Um, I could add some wheels, turn into a truck or a car. Um, what else could I do with that? I could turn into a brick wall, which would be very easy. I just draw some other rectangles on it. And now it's a it's a brick wall, and I could draw like Humpty Dumpty sitting on it. With a little crack in his head. So you got Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. That's an easy. Okay, Lucas, what have you got to ask? I turned an N into a ninja. See? Into a ninja. See? Show me really close. The camera. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. Yeah, good job. Really good. Oh, Ariel, that's a lot of stuff there. In person. Mikhail, that's good. Oh, I like your truck, Mikhail. That's good. Oh, good. Let me see what people have on the other side. Okay. You did a lot. Some, some, people, some of you have done a lot. Um, what we might try next is some um, letters and numbers. Oh, Raph, that's really cool. I like those. What have we got? Which, uh, is, that a, is that a boot? <laughs> it looks like a boot. Oh, Jimmy, I like your triangle on there. Kind of weird creature. Uh, Nikhil, I like your uh, your dinosaur there. It looks like Charmander because it's orange. <laughs> yeah, Mikhail, they're really cool. All right, so what we're going to do next? Let's start off. Oh, let's move that one. That one. Let's do a couple of letters and numbers. So we want to make the numbers thick and the letters thick. So instead of just drawing one, let's do like one, two, three. And then we'll do capital A, B, C. We want to thicken those up. 
So a. I'll wait till everyone's done that. When you've done that, show it, show it up to the screen so I know you've done it. When enough people have done it, I'll move on. That's good. Okay. Your um your B looked like a dollar sign. <laughs> Even though cool. All right. Good job, Kaylee. And who's show yet? Okay, so I'm just gonna draw them around it. So the one over here. I actually don't draw ones like that. I'm not sure how you're taught at school, but I do it the old way where they have a little bit on the top and a foot on the bottom. That's still a one. I don't draw a one like that. But anyway, we'll we'll just do a one like this one, not that one. So we just want to make it thick. So we're gonna just draw a top like that. So if I was to color it in. Okay. Oops, did I, if you're going to color anything in, make sure you've got your scrap paper underneath so you don't mess up the table or another piece of paper. So that's just a thick version of that, just a fatter version, so that then we could, um, we could add, where is it? Yeah. Could give him little eyes on top. And be a little smile. Little hands. So just waving at you. Said hi. I'm number one. I'm the best. So when it comes to well, if I was going to do this one, this one's a bit trickier. I'll show you that one. So it's going to have the little bit sticking out. Come down, it's gonna have the foot on the bottom. Like that. And you could do the same thing, give him some eyes. And maybe his legs come out from the sides. Or you could turn into a snake and not give him legs at all, but give him a little tongue sticking out there. So not all the numbers and letters have to be people with arms and legs. They can be whatever you want. Okay, so let's move up to the number two. So if we were to do that one thicker, we'll start with the curve and then the foot. Did that a bit wonky, but it's okay. It still looks like a two. This would be a good one for a snake. So it looks like a snake rearing up. So you can draw like a, an angry eye and tongue. You could even give it a bit more of a tail and give it like a rattle, like a rattlesnake has. Um, yeah, give it some little diamond patterns. Or it was on top of diamond, it was a triangle. Make it look a bit more like a snake. Talal, so, have you got a question? Because you got your hand up, I just noticed. There is a little way of doing that in, um, what am I saying, in Zoom. There's a button you can hit, but that's okay. You just wanted to show me your drawings? So I saw them, they're cool. I like them. Okay, so let me just check the other page of people. That was good there, everyone's drawing. Oh, nice number one, Mikhail, NRF, that's cool, yeah. Talal, very good. <laughs> Archer, that's great. <laughs> it looks really cool. Butcher, that was really good. All right, so three. I don't know if you draw threes with a top line or if you just do two curves. So um, I'll do the, that one's got a flat top and then a curve, like flat, straight, 
curve, but you might just do them curve, curve, like half an eight, like that. So we're just making them a bit thicker. You could, if you had a thick pencil, well, pencil like this one, I could go, oops. And then it's already a thick line. Um, Azdeo, have you got a question? I have to unmute first, okay? Yeah, a mistake. There you, there you go. I made a mistake. What do you do if you make a mistake? It's fine. Everyone makes mistakes. I made a mistake before. Um, did you make a mistake with a marker or a textile? I don't have textures. Did I, you make a mistake I with a pencil? Pencils on a pen. Or oh, with a pen. Mistake with a pen. Oh, that's okay. You can't really rub that out. It doesn't matter. You can just draw it again or just try and make the mistake part of your drawing. It's mm. not a big deal. Everyone makes mistakes. I make mistakes all the time and I've been drawing all my life. And I'm I'm about to turn 45. I'm very old. <laughs> so don't worry about making mistakes. It goes for everyone. Don't worry about mistakes. Because we're just practicing, we're just trying to have fun. We um we don't have to get anything right. We're not getting tested on this, we're doing this for fun. So it's best to make mistakes now when you um, are just playing around. Because then if you want to do something really good and spend a lot of time on it and you make a mistake, that's a bit more upsetting. But even then, you just try and learn from it. It's the only way we do learn is by making mistakes. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, so with this number three, I'm trying to think of what I could do for this one. Um, we could make it as if it's like somebody running this way. Little puffed. Whew. And we could draw some feet running this way. There we go. Running, running, running. I'll do it on that so you can see. You could do some little speed lines to show that he's what he's leaving behind, or little clouds. Lucas, have you got a question there? Can you unmute? I'm going to make one of my threes into someone snorkeling. And I did a mistake with a pen. So now I have to. That's fine. <laughs> make Someone snorkeling, that sounds interesting. I'd like so to see I that. I have to make the snorkel stripey. Is the snorkel going to be the top part of the three? No, like the go no, the goggles are going to be the three. Oh, like that way around. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, you can join that up. And then the nose is there. And they've got that snorkel bit in the mouth. I'm sure yours is going to be a lot better than mine. I just did it really rough. So yeah, you can turn your um, turn your drawings around again. Oh, I just knocked my light. Almost knocked it off my desk. That was scary. Okay, so while Lucas is doing that, I'm going to move on to the letters. Jimmy, that was really cool. I love that three. Nice furry. Is it a bear? It looks like a bear. <laughs> That's great. Um, okay, so the letter A. Where is my texture? Change to the color. Um, so again, if you're using a thick one, you can sort of do it like this. So then you have nice thick letters. If you don't, have a thick pen, you just have to sort of draw the shapes. This is a good way to practice your letters and numbers too. Do them in this sort of block. Sometimes it's called bubble writing. Um, bubble writing for an A would sort of be a bit more, a bit more rounded like this. It's like, oh, sorry, it looks like a little bubble. And they usually are joined together. So if I did A, B, C, I'd do A. Then B is like that. 
and then C, just like that. ABC, it's bubble writing. Um, sometimes they have little edges to them. But we're not doing that today. We're doing anything like this. So, um, A, you could turn into something else. So you could turn into a little person. Um, a rouge, is that how it's pronounced? I'm not sure. Have you got a question? You want to unmute? Oh, that's cool. Superman letter A. That's great. Very good. All right. Um, so I might turn this one into. Um, what about if it had just one one big eye? Like that. And some teeth here. Maybe some claws. So it's like a monster A. I can make it sort of hairy. So the A is coming to eat you. Um, Jaden, you got a question there? Put on you. Jaden, if you got a question? I can't hear you. No, I will come back. I'll leave you uh, unmuted and I'll come back. Um, Lucas, have you got another question? Or you want to show me something? That's a lot of stuff going on there. Oh, you scuba diver, I can see that one. I'll see that really again. There you go. So I got, you got your scuba diver, diver. And now I'm going to make an A into an Indominus Rex. Oh, Indominus Rex? Awesome. <laughs> Love a good Jurassic Park reference. Um, okay. Uh, Krisha, you got a question? Or did you want to show me something? Sorry, say again. Do we have to draw all of these things? Uh, you don't have to, but I'm just showing you a few different ways um, that you can use shapes and numbers and things to create characters because next week we will move on. Um, I don't have it in front of me at the moment, what we're gonna do next week, but we're sort of gonna carry on. We're gonna start off with these basic things and then we're gonna move on to more advanced things. Okay. Uh, okay. But it's just good to help you learn and get into the, the habit of drawing and doing different things like that. Um, who we got next? Amaya, have you got a question? You want to unmute? While I draw these next two letters. You got a question? Yeah. Um. This is how it might look. Oh, that looks cool. Can I see your A up above that as well? Mm -hmm. Like just lower the drawing a bit. I can see his claws and his teeth. Oh yeah, that's really good. Good job. Well done. Everyone's doing a really good job. I'm very impressed with everyone's drawings today. Um, Kobe, are you just showing me your drawings or do you want to say something? That was pretty cool. I like your three. Your two snake is great. Um, I've got to think of something to do with these last two. All right. Um, who we got next? As a as a day, you got a question? No. As a day? No question. Okay. Um, Nikhil, you got a question. I want to show my drawing. Okay, yep. Oops, sorry, I just clicked away. <laughs> is, it a, is it a guy at a desk? That's pretty good. I like that. Nice yeah, and I, also, 
I also done this. Oh, with another, it turned into a mustache. That's really cool. Good idea. Yeah. So the more the more you um, let your imagination flow, um, the more you know you'll come up with weird and wacky ideas, and the, the better they'll be. Um, Lucas, again, did you finish your drawing? Yes. And let's see. The uh, the Indominus Rex. Oh, yeah, eating someone. Of course, it's great. <laughs> That's really good. I love that. Good job. Um, who we got here? Aruj, have you got a question or something? I need a drawing. Um, the cat. Which one do you want me to look at? There's a cat. I like the S one. It looks like some kind of weird creature. That's pretty cool. Right over here, I made a frog. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Your camera's just gone off again. No, they're really good. Um, with this letter B, I was thinking of turning that into a hat, like a cowboy hat. And I could, you know, draw a face under here. I'm just going to draw a simple face. Looks a bit like a hat. Um, a wrap. A lot of people with their hand up. We've got to try and get through them all. Arath, have you got a question? Or a comment? <laughs> you want to show me what you got? Okay. Uh, it's a bit glary. I can't see that. There we go. Oh, nice. Is that a he had wings? Looks like wings on there. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a duck. A for duck. There we go. So yeah, they, they don't have to always be um, like an A for ape or a B for banana. You can do whatever you want. Like I've got B for a cowboy hat and C could be um, turned this way and I could turn it into a, a cow. It's C for cow, and it's got some spots on it, and an udder, and a tail. That's that's its legs. So yeah, you can you don't have to have the letters or the numbers mean um, be associated with the drawing. They can just be whatever. Um, okay, so we're almost we're almost running out of time too. So we need to. Quick, um, Isaiah, did you have another question? Uh, it was the same question. I yeah. just did, I'm not called as a day. Oh. My thing says that that's my mom's name. My, okay. name, my name's Clarice and what I was asking is, C is the starting letter for my name. Oh, that's cool. Um, well, there is a way to change the name on there and we, we do ask, that you do that just so we don't get confused like this. Because a lot of a lot of the kids are using their parents' iPads and things or laptops. So try and always have your name at the bottom. So I know who I'm talking to. Okay. That's right. Cool. Your drawing's been really good anyway. Uh, Jimmy. You got something to say? So I made my C a magnet. Oh, that's a cool one, yeah. So they look like a magnet already. And it could be magnetizing one of the other letters. This thing. It looks like a, a Big Mac burger box. Yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, um, I live in an apartment and downstairs there's a cafe, so it looks like one of the boxes from the cafe on the beach. Yeah, yeah a little takeaway box, it does. Okay. <laughs> that's cool, well done. Uh, okay, so I just put on a new page. Uh, Chris, uh, your phone is turned off. Your iPhone. Oh, Come sorry. On. It is sorry. It was because I've got low battery. That should be back on now. Can anyone hear me? Um, Chris, have you got something? Can we also design our own thing? Like, if we draw B, we can design our own thing. 
sorry you broke up. I couldn't hear very well. Um, I, again, I didn't catch all that, but you can draw anything you like. So, um, but today I wanted to do shapes. So you can draw any shapes you want. Um, and that's what I was just about to do again. Um, do it sort of like, maybe it's like a double R shape or something. Um, oops, keep hitting the camera. You can draw anything and try and turn it into something else. It's like maybe a bit of a rabbit that way. Um, because what I want you to do in the future is be able to look at a drawing of, of anything or even um, I've got here a little Pinocchio character, right? I want you to be able to look at stuff like that and be able to draw the shapes that it's made up from. So this is the beginning of um, sort of how to draw. This is like the very early stages. So it's looking at shapes and getting your imagination ready so that you could then, um, for instance, I'll get another little thing right here, my little spider hand thing. So he's made up of shapes. He's a circle. Let me just get a marker. His head is a circle. Give me the camera. All right. And his nose is a circle. And his body is sort of a curve with a flat bit. So if I wanted to draw this, this little statue, I'd start off by drawing that. And that's what I'm I'm trying to teach you is just to start looking for shapes in drawings. And then when you go to draw things that you don't normally draw, you might find it easier because you can see the shapes. Uh, like this. Anyway, really right. Um, but this thing here, <laughs> did you like that? That was pretty quick. Um, this thing here, I think, could be, um, as I said, a rabbit or an alien with big. Um, May have you got a question? An alien with big antennas. Uh, so I might turn this into a, a rabbit. Amaya, do you have a question? Yeah. Um, that you can also make the sea a um cookie monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. The great big teeth. I love that. Very good. <laughs> So um, yeah, we've only got a couple of minutes left. Um, so just keep practicing doing different shapes and look at things in, in like your house and look at the different shapes and you can try drawing them. Um, remember to put your lids on pens as well. I've just forgot to do that a couple of pens. Um, whether it's, um, you know, a cup, um, a statue, uh, a dog, or even, a um, you know, your mum or your dad or you know someone sitting on a on the couch. You know? Just just look at them and think of what shapes they're made up of. Um, you do quickly think of like a person. They got a round head, maybe like a rectangular body, some long legs and their feet, maybe little triangles. So that's just I've just drawn a whole bunch of shapes and lines, but it looks like a person, right? So that's what we want to learn how to do is looking at things, seeing different shapes, and then being able to draw those shapes. Um, Nikhil, have you got a question? So that's our goal for this drawing class is to be able to draw anything we want. My, this is my brother's tablet. Oh, okay. I is your, your name is it Nikhil? Yeah, my name is Mokshi. Okay. Um, are you able to change it? You should be able to change it in Zoom. It's pretty Zoom. You don't have to do it now, but maybe for next time. Okay. Uh, okay. So let's see who we got next. Probably answer a couple more questions. Archer Pool. Have you got a question there, Archer? Or do you want to show me your work? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Look at that face. That's a great face. Well done. 
<laughs> Very good. Um, I just realized I was drawing this guy and he doesn't have any clothes on. I'm gonna put some pants on him. So you can see I've just drawn this really roughly. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to do everything perfect. Um, and that's what erasers are for, you to rub things out. Um, Krisha, have you got a question? I can draw this elephant. Oh, you can draw the elephant. Yeah. Have you started? Can I see? Like what shapes do you think that elephant is? Well, when when like when you quickly showed me what I saw was a big rectangle and a curve for the trunk and maybe little rectangles for the legs like that. That's the shapes I saw very quickly. And so you could use that to actually draw an elephant. <laughs> There you go. Okay, one check. Okay, see? One check. There. Oh, that's great. Oh, he's got great feet. And he's got tusks as well. That's great. Well done. So it's it's sort of that that easy that you can just hopefully it's that easy and, and it will be when you learn a bit more um, to look at shapes and then build up on those shapes to then draw what you want to, what you're looking at. Um, we are now out of time. Unfortunately, that is our first lesson. One out of 10 for this term. And um, yep. yeah, I think everyone did some great, great work. Yep. Very impressive. Everyone doing great work. I agree. Yeah. All right, everyone, one more time, show what you've done so that we can see. Show your favorite drawing. Favorite drawing. Private share. Actually, like this little bunny. <laughs> okay. Awesome work, everyone. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Really like. And you can always take a photo of it or a screenshot and send it in to Brilliant Kids because we have we still have an online gallery, do we, people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 still have. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, we can put it up on the gallery and let everyone see it, see what yeah, fun things we're doing in class. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to unmute everyone. Say goodbye to Mr. Evan. See you. Bye. 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 This Sharpie right here. This Sharpie.